Okay, folks, you may remember this box <laughs> from a few videos back where I made an antenna switch out of this thing. There's the old wire, there's the old switch, and uh, it was a the whole idea of this thing when I built it. It was supposed to be how we got screwed out of proportion, I don't know. But it was an antenna switcher. It switched antennas. It wasn't meant to switch radios. Switching antennas. Antennae. Four different antennas to one radio. But anyways. So, uh, ever since I built that, I pretty much... Had it sitting on the shelf, never done any with it, so today I figured I'd scrap the antenna switch and build myself an antenna tuner inside of it. Well, a few gaping holes here, but a little bit of a aluminum, aluminum's here. I might uh, cover it, or if I can get those little plastic plugs, maybe I can plug it up plastic plugs I don't know wait a minute this is a five position switch this is only using one switch one twin capacitor one inductor and two antenna connectors and a bunch of wire that's it that's all it is nothing fancy I'm using one of the capacitors that I uh, got off uh, V1 Alpha Alpha Bravo there on Friday. Put one of them to use. Modified the knob here to uh, to work with it. Had to drill it out a little tiny bit. And then managed to make it work. And then I had this lovely five position uh, switch here. And uh, basically, I got a coil form coil form is a plastic tube if anybody deals with uh, rj45 not rj45 a cat 5 cat 6 cable you know rj rg59 that kind of stuff the cardboard boxes the cardboard boxes come with these plastic inserts that the wire comes out of to keep it from getting tangled that is what this plastic black tube is so, if you're dealing with uh, Cat 6, Cat 5, or RG59 cable, or any kind of cable, and has the plastic insert like that, save it. Make a great coil form, as they got done here. So, let's count the turns on the coil, shall we? So, basically, you got an input, right here, input, output, whatever, don't matter. The end of the coil is grounded right here, grounded chassis, so it's a grounded coil. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine turns. Nine turns on this thing. We have five taps. One, two, three, four, and five. Five taps. They go on to the switch. Right here, so you see the little contact right there on your screen, in between those two contacts moving there. That's the actual contactor. So contact, 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 and contact. And then we have this one down here, which is the common. So that's your input, output, whatever. It doesn't matter. Input, output, input, output, output, input. It don't matter with this tuner. It, it does not matter. It'll work either or. Maybe one way better than the other. I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, you can hook this whatever way, whatever way you please. So, what is the schematic for this here tuner? Well, why this is the schematic. One grounded coil. And one tuning capacitor. So the capacitor is also grounded on this one. There's no insulation whatsoever it's grounded to the chassis the coil is grounded to the chassis the switch is grounded to the chassis the contacts are not 
So there we have it. Simple. And uh, I have an idea for this, and I was already talking to one of the fellers there yesterday. Well, uh, I was also donated a nice little case by the Owen Alfalfa Bravo. So, so what does this case and this tuner have in common? Well, it's going to be a shack in a box. That's what it's going to be. I'm going to try and mount my Tentec Argosy in here. She's going to live in here. That uh, tuner is going to live in this box. Coax, microphone, power cord. The only thing that's not going to be in here is the battery, obviously. But that, that is the idea. The uh, Argosy has its own SWR meter built in. So, using the tuner with the Argosy, I can be able to tune down the antenna. Or antennas, whatever. And, uh, yeah. So there we have it. That is the idea. And that's why I scrapped the antenna switch I made out of this thing and made a antenna tuner instead. How much power would you pump through this thing? Well, that's completely up to you. I wouldn't put thousands of watts through it because I'm sure she would go sizzle sizzle. I'd say she'd probably go for 50 watts. That's all the Argosy does is 50 watts. Maximum power, 5 and 50. And this here is plenty big enough for 50 watts. So, there we have it. Alright. What did you build out of your project? What did you build out of your junk box today? Well, I scrapped an antenna tuner. Or, uh, antenna switcher. I built an antenna tuner out of it. <laughs> anyway, boys. All the best. 7-3. And we'll chat later. And that boy, I almost forgot. I'm planning on probably making another antenna tuner out of this case. Back here. <laughs> Can you guess what that's from? That's going to be my coil form. Well, for the sake of uh, a whole $2 at the dollar store. There you go. Got yourself a call for him for two dollars. Anyways, <laughs> chat later.